Hi, Aries. This is Magic from Soul Therapy with Magic. And um, this is my first video on my new channel. I do have some videos that I'm still working on. I'm editing um, with the Soul Therapy episodes that I've had um, done previously. But I am going to be making new videos for you guys, new content. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I'd like to see where this channel will go. Yeah, this is something that I've been really putting a lot of thought and effort into because uh, my purpose is to help people heal um, and help you guys get in alignment to your spiritual journey. I consider myself an empath, a teacher, a catalyst, um, and I am here to use my gifts to guide you and help the collective, okay? So I titled this soul song because that is what um, I was inspired with, your soul song, Aries. So for April, oh, immediately we have Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's all about listening to the inner voice inside. Um, what is guiding your, you know, what is driving you? What is guiding the inner self? Um, to want to evolve, to want to be better. There is a a song or it's like the Pied Piper, right? And then he plays this little um, flute and then all the little, uh, all the people follow. So it's like a song. The universe is, is, is communicating with you. Maybe through music, maybe through science symbols and synchronicities, maybe through a YouTuber or someone that inspires you. But um, there is a message for you. Um, and are you heeding the call? All right. Um, the first message that comes. Oh, and then we have the emperor at the bottom. Very interesting. The first message that comes up is this ace of pentacles. And this can usually, you know, talk about some sort of delay or some sort of rejection or, you know, these aces are fleeting. There could have been a missed opportunity even for you. Um, because I do see you wanting to be in your highest vibration here of your sign. Emperor is about being grounded. He's the father, you know, the um, he's a leader. He takes the lead duality. This is about finding yourself. Who are you, Aries? Who are you? And in April, there is going to be a reintroducing of oneself. I would like to incorporate a message from your my Choose Your Journey. Um, this is a journaling book I got from Five Below. I think I paid four bucks for it. It's very awesome. I haven't filled in the prompts, um, but I use this to um, give you an additional intuitive message guided by spirit. And it's about writing about your journey. So we're in the astrological new year. I believe the 19th was the day of the spring equinox. Now that we're in a new cycle, we just left the winter, which was a, a death cycle where things died off. We're in a brand new cycle where you have the ability to birth something new, right? A new beginning, um, new opportunities, a time to plant new seeds, a time to set new intentions, a time to start something new, a time to um, recreate yourself. All right. So spirit, please guide Aries, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter or any significant Aries placements that you have in your birth chart. Please guide them to a divinely guided message on what they should focus on on their new journey in this new astrological year. So I'm randomly going to choose a page. Spirit, thank you for this message. Your destination journey. What sacrifices are you willing to make in order to fulfill your purpose? Powerful what struggles are you willing to endure? Very powerful. What sacrifices are you willing to make in order to fulfill your purpose, Aries? Soul song. Something is, something has caught your attention. You have re-identified where you stand, who you are, who you want to be. And you are expressing a side of yourself that if we would liken it to the Pied Piper analogy, or metaphorically, we talk about, I say soul song, as you know, music is influential. Music can change your mood. Music can uplift you. Music can bring you down. Just depends on what type of music you're listening to. But it all equates to frequencies and tones, right? Your vibration, your frequency has risen. 
you have raised your vibration or you're in the process of doing so because this is the higher vibration, higher octave of your element. This is a, a major arcana, right? One of the trump cards in the tarot deck. And he is coming in to teach you discipline, structure. And not only that, he is bringing in a message of bringing sol solidarity in your life and also setting up a solid foundation for yourself for the future. So the overcoming, overcomer's journey is, is your fear standing in the way of your goals or dreams? Write about it. What are your fears? I heard change your tune. So as you phrase your frequency, you change your tune, you change your song. Your soul song is linked to something very primordial, something very authentic, something very ancient. There is a reverberation. There is a echo from the past that is coming back around full circle. And there is a recognition of something, something that you were supposed to do, or you're now getting an alignment to what you are meant to do. You are walking in your purpose. Very, very powerful. Humanitarian journey says find a business you like that donates part of their profits to charity like Grace and Lace. Pura Vida or H and M. You can search online for a company that you would like, that you like, and that supports something you believe in. Write about what, why, what, and why you like and support this company and the good work they do. This is just connecting to your community. This is about supporting businesses or supporting people, um, and this is about the collective, collectively. Um, Giving back, it's all about how do we find our individuality, but at the same time, find our place in the collective as a whole. Can we stand out as individuals, yet co collectively connect with each other? How do we impact the people around us? And the last journey is chaotic resolve journey. Keep your emotions in check. Figure out what emotional triggers are, what your emotional triggers are, and how they are impacting your life negatively. Don't keep your emotions bottled up. Find healthy outlets for your emotions. Write about those outlets. Very powerful. And again, this is your, um, or choose your own journey. So this is a very powerful um, way to connect um, with your higher self by creating um, or manifesting through what you write, right? Because this is creating a pathway for you, a direction for your life through your writing, through different journeys you can create for yourself. Very awesome. Very awesome material. Five below if you're interested. So back to this. Back to this. And I keep bringing up the soul song energy because I really need y'all to understand how important it is to, to march to the beat of your own drum, to create your own song in a sense, right? What, what makes you stand out, Aries? So I'm going to do a quick web search here. I'm, I'm using two computers. Yeah. Oh, embarking on a new journey. I love it. I love it. Some of you guys are musicians, creatives. Some of you guys do create music. But the music I re I'm referring to is your frequency. <laughs> How is your frequency? How is your vibration? What are you doing it? What are you doing to raise your vibration. And I'm not just talking about your you know soul music. I'm talking about what what brings life back into you. Right? What do you feel on a soul level? How is that translated in your life? 
How does that impact others around you? The frequency affects everybody that comes within your org field. Did you know that? Everything. 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 We have two aces reverse. Two aces reverse. Clarify the emperor. Yeah, we have you being feeling conflicted. And then with the world card, we have, oh, so we have the judgment card clarifying the world, which is the last card in the tarot deck or in the trump cards, right? This is the, the, the ending of your journey. We have death and then we have five of pentacles. So there's going to be an ending to any hardship um, and there will be change, but this change is bringing in transformation out of a period of lack, out of a period where you felt left out, out of a period where there was no, um, where I, I want to say, <laughs> I was going to say where there was no music, but I'm not talking about literal music. I'm talking about um, you weren't hearing, you know, spirit. You're tuning into the right frequency. You can hear your soul song and it's directing you out of a chaotic or challenging situation. It's directing you into a place where you are clear. Now we know there's a struggle here, okay? With this nine of wands, but this death card is saying you're coming out of this struggle. You're coming out of this place of feeling unsupported or inadequate or a lack of something. There's no lack, Spirit says. Spirit says that this is the end of that particular cycle or that journey. You're coming to an end individually. In your autonomy, you stand strong. You persevered. You made it through. It was difficult. You survived. You passed the test. World card. Yes. It was hard, Aries. You passed. You passed. You passed. You got passed. Because this is what you were trying to, because this is these two new beginnings that are available, these potentials for clarity, for a solid um, foundation. This is the first brick. You lay down that, that bond, and that is a strengthening within yourself, okay? That is the inner foundation. That is why emperor is here. It's a four, inner stability, solidarity within your autonomy, strengthening the bond within self, but there was a disconnect. You had to go through a cycle. You had to go through a lesson. You had to be judged and you pass your sees that um, you learn. So you are reborn. reborn. <laughs> you are rebirth. Okay. Or you go through a death cycle and then there is a resurrection. You made it through a difficult cycle, but you persevered. You didn't give up. And there is an end of struggle and end of lack. Very beautiful. I want to. I want to um, pull. Um, I don't have my other deck, but I'm going to use the energy oracle deck for an additional message. And I'm going to pull some love oracles cards for you guys to give you a love message. This is a short read, but I just wanted to come through and. Yeah, ooh, 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 you're being honest with yourself, see, walking away. That was what you were struggling with, just being stuck. This is about going on that new journey. There's the gate, she's opening the gate, walking through, ready to take a leap of faith, ready to start something new, but something was blocking you, those two aces, but there is clarity, there is truth here, honesty. Um, this is the throat chakra, and again, tone frequency. This could be about your soul song. Could be about how you're representing yourself, about how you're speaking, what you're saying. Are you being authentic? Are you being clear? Are you being honest? Envy. Another five. This is what well, I'm sorry. This is a twenty, but this is about lack. This is about you know not having enough and always looking at somebody else's grass or being envious of someone else's success. I feel this could be people being envious of you too, but this could also represent, yeah, instability, not knowing your worth, not knowing your value, because she has some ragged clothes on, but look what's in her hand, a, a plate full of jewels, and she's longing for this uh, abundance over there. 
but she neglects herself. She neglects, you know, the things she has because she's too busy looking over there. But this is an energy of lack. She's now rooted in gratitude, but that ends for you. Clarify envy. I'm going to put this on envy because that's where it's actually supposed to go. And that is what was causing the instability. But when you change your tune, your frequency, you cycle of lack, ending the cycle of instability because you are finding your truth, your soul song. And you're taking action. You are awakened. You are awakened to your purpose, to your power, <laughs> to your strength. Beautiful magician in the mirror. You are empowered now because you have found your truth. And in the past, you had to go through a difficult cycle. And again, like I said, you were you were able to um, overcome it. And now you're moving forward. Very beautiful. Moving forward. One last card. Door to spirit. So spirit is opening this door for you. Oh, I can't make this shit up. I told you. You passed. Walk through this door. Enlightenment here. Beautiful. So let's do your love messages now. That would be your reading for April. Aries. Amazing. So song. I'm going to pull a card from the Whispers of Love and the Tarot, the um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart next for your love message. I'm sorry. I'm just like, right. <laughs> I'm right next to the window, so sometimes you'll hear like a motorcycle or a loud car go by, but that's okay. So song, so song. That's an actual song. There's an actual song called So Song. You are limitless. There's a person called Joe Stafley, 1972. He wrote a song called So Song, and um. I don't know. I'm looking at his picture and I'm being directed to um, telling you a little bit about him. So maybe you can find lyrics because it says you are limitless. You can do it. I wish I could find some lyrics. Soul song is what it's called. His name is um, Robert Stampley. Joe Stampley. One more message for love. So you're limitless when it comes to love. Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Yeah. Um, you may have felt disempowered in a connection. Um, you saw good in somebody. You really did. You were focused on loving someone. Um, you were being very kind. Shit. Um, but I feel like you learned a lesson. I feel like you learned a very valuable lesson here. Clarify these three cards. Yeah, there you go. Going through a very difficult struggle, ending hardship, realizing that you are powerful, okay? Focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Don't be so focused on the past. I see you looking up. There's an offer. And boom, there you go. Queen of Cups. Open to love. You could be dealing with a Cancerian. You could be a Cancer with um, Aries in your chart. I'm, I'm an Aries rising, so this resonates. You were disempowered. You you gave up your your power, um, or or forgot who you were because you went through some struggles and and difficult um, cycles or difficult relationships. You lost your faith, or you lost the willpower, or the or you became disinterested, or you became apathetic, or maybe suffered from depression. There was a looking back with this fourth cups that kept you stagnant. Um, you went through a lot of um lessons here yeah you got clarity and that clarity brought in healing um it's just focus on love look for the good in everyone focus on the good and not the bad not the past but the opportunity that the future holds for you and this is also about finding your authentic truth your soul song your authentic truth what makes you who you are I feel like you have um, broken through some sort of um, barrier, a block, or inability to receive or give love in a healthy way. Um, because at one point, um, you were 
holding on to that old frequency, that old song, that old tune, that old narrative. But you have um, realized something. You've got clarity. You've got illumination. And you're coming back. You're coming out of this period of stagnation. You're returning to the world. And you're releasing heartbreak. And you are stable and ready to journey. And you are ready to give and receive. And, and it says kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Yeah, you're ready to be open to giving and receiving love. One more card for kindness. <laughs> But you need to understand that it's time to set boundaries. But yeah, and this is about not being so guarded this time, not being so restricted, setting proper boundaries, but being open, okay? Being open to new love. This is about self-love, but there will be a decision that comes in. There is somebody coming from your past. You're wanting to be a little bit defensive um, because this person is wanting to reconcile. It could be a Leo. They want to heal the situation with you. Um, you are able to overcome this. I will say this, but you are asked to set proper boundaries. Do not be overly defensive and do not hold on to what happened in the past. Um, release that baggage and be open to a new journey. Be open to embarking on something new because whatever this new thing is, it is going to bring in long-term stability. I feel like your ships are coming in. Or someone is turning their back on somebody else. But your wishes are being fulfilled here. Yeah, there could have been somebody. Um, or this could even be you. Feeling a little bit uh, scared. Lack of confidence. But we have emotional fulfillment here. Um, get grounded. Okay, get grounded. I see that this if, if it is Leo, they're ending a relationship. And they're coming towards you to rebuild. Very interesting. Let's get a final message. And I'll close out this chat. What do you want them to know about this person coming towards them? Okay, we have Chariot, yeah. Okay, Chariot and the Hermit. But I'm going to put that back because I didn't like how that came out. What do you want Aries to know? Someone rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What is the message? Yeah. Believe in to see. Six of Wands, it's reverse. Devil in reverse. But yeah. Yeah, in the past, you felt like you felt at love. You couldn't move on from something. You felt defeated by something. That's why I said there was a sense of disempowerment. But you have tackled that lesson. You have overcome the devil. You have defeated the devil. And you are now ready to share the love. You are ready to receive and give. And there is a reconciliation coming towards you. It is a beautiful message. I am so happy for you guys. And one last message of advice. Yeah, challenging times are over. There is nothing to fear come out of any conflict and um, there is a resolution coming. Okay, if there was a problem or if there was um, separation, we saw the hermit card, there was ghosting, I see a resolution on its way. All right, that is your reading, Aries. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you um, in some insight, some wisdom, some clarity. Please let me know in the comments of this video. Please like, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And I thank y'all and I will see you guys or talk to you guys soon. Bye.